Hello everybody! Right in the middle of making my daughter's birthday cake and a few other things I had to do. It's like, oh yes, that's right. I wanted to make a video. I thought this was very important. I wanted to get this done and uploaded while I was thinking about it. Um, but message to Isaac. Hi, sweetie. Hope you're doing okay. I know I can't answer because of your JW parents. Um, but thank you for the information. He said, I just watched your recent video, and yes, they are blocking things. Um, I tried to get on your website when I was vid visiting Bethel. So basically, my family and I stayed in the Bethel Hotel, and I'm not going to mention which one. And I always like to go on your guy's site, and I was in the room alone and tried to get in, and it said something like, this website has been prohibited by the internet provider, or something like that. So, this is proof that Watchtower is blocking all of our sites, even in the hotels they own. So, just shows how fearful they are, and how scared they are that you know someone actually might go on these websites and uh, you know learn something and also um, I just want to mention Sharon we are so happy for you um, I was talking to Sharon earlier and she's the one that we did this Skype interview with the other night and because of that interview a long lost JW friend of hers saw that interview and so connected with her so we are so happy for you guys and uh, a hi to your friend also and just ecstatic about that we're so glad you know that we could help you guys find one another that just made our day um, and I want to thank Monica for the following video and thank you sweetie for the laugh because it's like, oh my God. I mean, there's not much I can even say about this. This was ridiculous looking. And I know a lot of congregations are putting up these JW.org stores. But have it all lit up like that at night. I mean, <laughs> that was just hilarious. So thank you, Monica for sending me that video and you guys enjoy it. Bye. So Leute, heute sind wir in Tallinn und ähm, wir haben hier was ganz Besonderes entdeckt, was sich unsere Brüder hier in Estland haben einfallen lassen. Das ist der absolute Oberhammer. Das ist nicht nur eine Art Infostand, das ist irgendwie, ja, wenn man so will, ein Literaturautomat mit zwei Flatscreens und ich weiß nicht, vielleicht hatten wir sogar mal ein Video von der Gesellschaft darüber. Schaut es euch einfach mal an. Ja, und innen drin scheinen sie dann wohl auch öfters zu sitzen. Da haben sie ihre Trolleys stehen, ein paar Westen. Interessant. Grüße aus Tallinn, Estland. <lacht> 